Cultural Literacies Across Media class, aka CLAM, we the students were asked to pick a culture and to study that culture through media. I decided on the Suryanis because I have to admit with a little embarrassment that I knew very little about our longtime family friend Isho Begdash, who is Suryani. In this video, I'll be talking about my personal experiences while I studied this culture. Suryani is known as Syriac or Assyrian in English, but to avoid confusion with the country of Syria and Assyrians, it would be proper to use either Suryani or Syriac when referring to the members of the Syriac Orthodox Church. Suryani speak Aramaic among themselves and during church services. Aramaic is the language of Jesus Christ. The background music in this video is in fact in Aramaic. I recorded this during a Sunday service at the church. The Syriac Orthodox services contain a lot of prayer through hymns and singing. Aramaic sounds very close to Arabic. In fact, even the writing style is similar. For example, this is a picture of the pages of the Holy Corbono. The far right column is in Aramaic, and the left and the middle columns are in Arabic. Both languages are written from right to left and look similar in style. The word Corbono has its roots in Aramaic and means to sacrifice. The Holy Corbona is a service that benefits all members of the church, so it is known as the complete worship. The very first day that I attended a service at the Syriac Orthodox Church was in February of this year. I later found out that that particular day was extremely important for the Suryanis because it was the end of the Ninve fast. During this fast, there is no eating or drinking for three straight days. I can't even imagine not eating for more than a few hours, let alone three whole days. Even though the congregation was starved half to death, and quite literally, everybody was absolutely welcoming and helpful, and generous. After the service, I was invited to break their fast with them, and was given this book, the Holy Corbona, and the Bible as a gift. The Ninmei fast is one of the many fasts that Suryanis practice. Besides the Ninmei fast, Suryani fasting consists of not consuming any food pertaining to animals, such as meat, milk, butter, cheese, or even chocolate. You know, I can make do without the others, but I don't know if I can do it without chocolate. First and foremost, Suryanis fast every Wednesday and Friday during their lifetime. Wednesday fasts emphasize the day Jesus Christ was crucified, and the Friday fast signify the resurrection of Jesus into heaven. There is also 50 days of fasting for Easter, 10 days of fasting for Christmas, and 15 days of fasting for the Virgin Mary. However, the Ninmei is the only fast where there is no eating or drinking and is the most rigorous one, both mentally and physically. One aspect of the Suryani culture that probably cannot escape anybody's attention is the fact that the Suryani community is very tight-knit. This is because the Suryani population in the world is very small, estimated to be about 5 million in total. They face the threat of being assimilated into their host countries. I asked Isho, our family friend, and his daughters to describe to me what it means to be a Suryani. How would you describe it, or put it into words? The answer I got was a little more than I had expected. The word Suryani describes everything about them. It is their nationality, it is their religion, tradition, faith, culture, ethnicity, basically anything and everything that makes one an individual. Suryanis do not have a country of their own, nor do they want one. They genuinely believe that their true land and kingdom is in heaven. Therefore, many believe that their spiritual connection and religious traditions are the things that bind them together, as if they have the most patriotic nation in the world. And for this, they need no physical land, only their faith in God, which, like Muslims, they also call Allah. Traditionally, Suryanis are from the Middle East, and mostly populated in Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Turkey. Today, however, due to the harsh treatment of Christian minorities in the Middle East, an estimate of half a million Suryanis each live in Europe and United States. 
I was fortunate enough to visit three different Suryani churches repeatedly and freely photograph and record the services. So suffice it to say, I'm very thankful to the whole community for being so welcoming and helpful, not only with regards to my project, but also for broadening my wisdom and knowledge about the Suryani culture. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I have enjoyed learning about the Suryanis.